Welcome to another edition of the SSC TV3 News. We are more than news. We have been televising news events and archives of St. John for more than 43 years. And at the present time, we have 532 subscribers and 1,350 videos on YouTube. Watch our productions by going to Facebook or YouTube under the name St. John Community Television. Today is Wednesday, May 11th of 2022. I am Lenny Cartwright and I will be your host for today for segment one. This is a live view of the city park at about 10.30 a.m. The sky is partly cloudy. The winds are out of the south at 19 miles per hour. The temperature is 78 degrees and the humidity is 56%. These are some of the features that will be on the show today. Senior interviews, CBT appreciation picnic, and robots. We also welcome press releases and public service announcements. Just bring them by the studio or send them to sseTV3 at gmail.com. Here now are more of our some of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. It's now time for school announcements. The monthly Board of Education meetings are telecast live on the cable channel 3. The days and times will vary. The next Board of Education meeting will be Monday, May 16th at 7 p.m. in the basement of the Goodman Library. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJM Bank of Kansas. USD 350 is looking for an elementary special education teacher for the 2022 through 23 school year. The position covers kindergarten through fourth grade. The teaching assignment is at St. John, but the employment is throughout the South Central Kansas Special Education Cooperative. Candidates should apply through the co-op website that appears on your screen. Questions about the position should be directed to Superintendent Josh Myers at 620 Five four nine three five six four. The following is the listing of the upcoming May activities. May 12th at 8.30 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. preschool graduation. May 13th at 12.15 p.m. the elementary field day. May 13th at 7 p.m. senior class night. May 14th at 1 p.m. high school graduation. And finally, May 16th at 2 p.m. kindergarten graduation. Due to the lack of providers, the Stafford County Health Department will not be able to provide spree sports physicals this year. The City Council meetings are telecast live on the local cam cable channel 3 on the first and third Tuesday of each month at 7 p.m. You can also watch the playbacks on Facebook or YouTube at St. John Community Television. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJ and Bank of Kansas. Yards have to be mowed and trimmed. Yards with growth exceeding 9 inches are in violation of the city ordinance. The city crew will check properties on the 5th and 20th of each month. Mowing will begin on the 6th and 21st for properties still in violation after with notices have been sent to the property owners. Job interviews by nature are stressful. To help graduates prepare, the school offers realistic training. In a very few days, these 23 seniors will be leaving the shelter of the public school and entering what many call the cold, cruel world. Students are schooled in reading, writing, 
and arithmetic and the emerging digital world. But in addition to this, they are from time to time afforded the opportunity of experiencing some real world activities. This day, <coughs> it was mock interviews, which included everything from preparing resumes to single panel and Zoom interviews. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we have everyone here and we are ready to start our interviews. Okay, uh, we will have a five minute timer. Uh, after the first interview, uh, I will call for the next person to come up. They will draw for which one of the three forms they are doing. And then it's, you ready? One on one. What about, what about organization skills? Are you organized? Yeah. What keeps you organized? Uh, have you had the opportunity to be a leader? Uh, yes, I have taken, uh, uh, throughout high school, I have taken on several times. They have told panel. How would you handle criticism? How do you handle criticism? I handle criticism. I'm a, a senior at St. John High School. I will be attending Barton County Community College next year. Um. Round the Square announcements. The Jubilee will be May 27th and 28th. There will be no carnival this year, but other activities are planned. And as always, this celebration will be great for meeting friends and family. The Jubilee Committee still has St. John-inspired Pura Veda bracelets to help support events in St. John. They are still $6 a bracelet. 2022 Jubilee Schedule Friday, May 27th, 6 p.m., opening flag ceremony. Vendors and information booths, bounce house, and games. Beer Garden USD 350 Youth Creations Art Auction, 6.30 p.m., Cornhole Tournament, 9 p.m., Street Dance with Steel Scarecrows. Saturday, May 28th, 7 a.m., IOOF bre Free Breakfast in the Shell Building, 9 a.m., Vendors and Information Booths Open, Hall Museum Open, Sheer Madness Open, USD 350 5K Run Walk, 10 a.m. Bounce House and Games. And then in the afternoon, 1.30 p.m., the Jubilee Parade line up at 12.30 p.m. in the Napa parking lot. 3 p.m. Pie and Cops fundraiser founded by prize drawings and closing ceremony. County announcements. The county commissioners meetings are recorded each Wednesday morning at 8.30 a.m. and play back on the cable channel 3 at 10.30 a.m. on Thursday. On the last Thursday of the month, it will run right after the news. These meetings are sponsored by the City of St. John and the SJ and Bank of Kansas. Here now are more of our sponsors. Please let them know that you appreciate their support of our local news. Welcome back. I am David Cutright, and I will be your host for segment two. General Public Service Announcements. If you have announcements that need to be included in this portion of the news, bring them by the studio or send them to sscTV3 at gmail.com. 
Cade Orion Schnobelin, age 30, passed away on May the 5th. Visitation will be Thursday, May the 12th, from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. at the Menace Chapel in Maxville. The recitation of the Rosary will be Thursday, May the 12th, at 7 p.m. at St. Bernard's Catholic Church in Belbury, Kansas. The funeral mass will be Friday, May the 13th at 3 p.m. at St. Bernard's Catholic Church in Belbury, Kansas. The Goodman Library is looking for someone who would be interested in catering small groups of 6 to 10 for murder mystery dinners. Each meal will have a theme. If you are interested, you can contact the library directly at 620-549-3227 with your name and email address or send a PM with your email address. This form is also available in print if you prefer that method. A Google form will then be provided by email. A great number of people are interested in renting one of the new houses that EcoDevo is building. There are currently 23 people on a waiting list. If you wish to be added to that list, fill out the rental interest form that may be accessed on the EcoDevo Facebook page. Much of what community-based training does is not generally seen. This video is about TV3's contribution to this program, which has been dutifully and creatively administered by Mark Bryant. CBT stands for Community-Based Training. This is a program for high school students that takes place outside the classroom in various businesses and services throughout a hosting community. Opportunities can be almost anything from medical to clerical, but here in St. John, opportunities are limited. However, there is one opportunity in St. John that exists as a unique service that exists in no other small community, St. John Community Television. Students participate in field reporting, anchoring, script writing, on-location production, commercial creation, graphics, video editing, and control room operations. Gentlemen, thank you very much for everything that you've done for my students uh, over the decades and the years and all that good stuff. Um, the information that you have given my students has been invaluable, and I appreciate everything you guys do, so thank you. Yep, no problem. So, we enjoy it. All right. Thank you very much. Shall we shake your hands? Hopefully we still get to see you. Or... Yeah. Yeah. TV3 was privileged to be a part of this year's CBT Appreciation Picnic. Thank you very much for allowing my, my CBT students to come into your place of business and to learn the things that you have taught them in video journalism. It's been invaluable and it's been very educational for them. So thank you again. You're quite welcome. And I do my best to make their jobs miserable. <laughs> Because with the excitement of the camera comes the tedious of the time. That's right, that's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sandy Lion Shepherd Center announcements. We are located straight south of the fountain at 110 East 3rd. Martha Cutright is the director. This is also the home of SSC TV3, and I am the news director. The hours for the Sandy Land Shepherd Center are 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Monday through Thursday. We have the military pictures from Hoods Haven. Many have been returned, but many remain unclaimed. If you would like to have yours back, come to the center during regular hours. We can also add pictures to the veterans video that is running at the Goodman Library. If you see changes that need to be made or pictures that need to be added, please let us know. We can do this very easily. Coffee and News is each Wednesday at 10 a.m. Come for coffee, snacks, and conversation. Then stay to watch the TV3 News at 10.30 a.m. We also have health equipment available for loan. Currently, we have walkers, wheelchairs, canes, crutches, commodes, toilet seat risers, and more. Call us if you have a need. We also accept donations of lightly used medical equipment. Also, there will be no Lunch and Learn in May. Sunflower Senior Center announcements. This service is housed in the Witts Community Center that is located straight north of the Stafford County Annex at 215 East 3rd. Sandy Smith is the director. 
Its daily hours are 9.15 a.m. to 3.15 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 9.15 a.m. to 1.15 p.m. on Friday. Coffee and conversation time is every Tuesday and Thursday from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. You can play pitch Wednesdays at 1 p.m. except the last Wednesday of the month, which is reserved for the monthly bingo game. The application and current requirements for the Commodity Supplement Food Program, UMC Open Door Incorporated, is available at the Sunflower Senior Center. Also, there will be no TFAP in May, and the Lunch Bunch will not travel in May. Robots come in thousands of different designs and sizes and perform all sorts of jobs. Perhaps someday, one of the students in the following video will build a robot that you will use. Gears, wires, motors, structural pieces, and programming. From the first idea to the final assembly, all have to come together to make these little machines work. We all start out in the fifth grade and they build from um, a set of instructions. They all build the same robot. Um, it's called a clawbot. They all build the same one. It runs and that's how we kind of learn. After they've built that one, um, we do our programming for that one. Uh, programming, they get on a laptop computer. They program the robot to do certain things. In their case this year, it was uh, complete three mazes. Um, I brought our sixth graders in today who went to our competition this year, and they're going to kind of show what they did for their competition and what they built. I don't. Three, two, one, and go. They get 30 seconds before we switch partners. Every yellow ball they get inside of the inside box, they get two points for it. Caleb and his partner are trying to clear the side, which they did, and they got five points. These guys are doing the same. They're trying to get as many yellow balls as they can inside of that box for their points. You guys have 10 seconds left. Don't push one back into the wrong spot there. And stop. Okay. Okay, so these girls built Allie the alligator. You want to show them how it drives a little bit? Allie the alligator doesn't exactly walk, but she kind of flops around. This one wouldn't be anything that was good for a competition, but it's kind of neat little build that they did there. Does she go backwards? She tries. Okay. Now, a short explanation and demonstration by a couple of beginning roboters. I'm Lenny Cutright, and I'm here with Allie and Aaliyah with their robotics project. So tell me a little bit about your project. So um, uh, it took us six to seven days to build. Um, um, we got the instructions to build it off of robotics IQ. Can you show me how it works? Yes. So, so these can these two controllers make it go up and then down and then the this controller makes it these two controllers make it go forward and backward and they also turn the robot. And then these controls do absolutely nothing. This is the turn this is the turn it off and on. These buttons do absolutely nothing. Because when we programmed it, there wasn't really a use for them. Uh -huh. um, so, do you want to demonstrate the box? Yeah. And then we made a box to demonstrate how the uh, how the lift works. Usually we get it to stay on, but it, it doesn't. Works, but want to yeah, go. today is just not our day. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that all? That's really cool. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
Please help our channel better serve you with quality and informative programming. We have a lot of good stuff happening in our area, and it is our goal to bring these activities to those who cannot attend. If you have items that need to be announced on TV3, or you have an event that would benefit from video coverage, we would like to hear from you. Give us a little notice and we will be there. Just call 620-253-0037 or send a message to ssctv3 at gmail.com. And now a special announcement. TV3 will be hosting a three-part open house from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. on Friday evening of the Jubilee and from 8 a.m. to 12 noon and from 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. on Saturday of the Jubilee. Come in for a tour and sign up for a chance to win one of three $50 cash prizes. That drawing will take place during news on Wednesday, June the 1st. Join us again next Wednesday at 10.30 a.m. for another edition of the TV3 News. Thank you for watching, and God bless and help the USA.